हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल स्टेप्स सो सिविल स्टेप्स हैज स्टार्टेड वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट सीरीज दैट इज फॉर प्रीलिम्स 2022 सो टारगेट प्रीलिम्स 2022 इनिशिएटिव ऑफ सिविल स्टेप्स विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स टू कवर द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री जोग्राफी पॉलिटी इकोनमी साइंस environment and current affairs so this target prelims 2022 series has started from 19th of december 2021 and will help you to cover more than 1000 important topics for prelims examinations target prelims 2022 has been designed keeping in mind the dynamic nature of the upsc civil services examinations hence target 2022 focus on overall preparation of a serious civil services aspirant and it will sail you through upsc civil services examination very smoothly so today we will discuss important mcqs of environment and basic science so the first question is which of the following cell organelles play the most significant role in protein synthesis option number a lysosome and centrosome b endoplasmic reticulum and ribosome c golgi apparatus and mitochondria d lysosome and mitochondria so you can pause this video and write your answer in the comment section below i hope you have written the answer so the answer of this question is option number b endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes so ribosomes and endoplasmic reticulum are the main sites for protein synthesis ribosome which serve as staging area where some rna helps in protein synthesis endoplasmic reticulum is an irregular double membrane network scattered in cytoplasm and helps in protein synthesis so this was the question that was asked from basic science this was the question that was asked from cell biology so you should know the basics of cell biology like different organelles in cell so in 2020 prelims also upsc asked the difference between animal and plant cells so you should know the difference between animal and plant cells and the one line function of each organelles like what is the function of lysosome centrosome uh, you need you need not to read about these organelles in a detailed manner but you should know the basic and main functions of the cell organelles like golgi apparatus mitochondria lysosome and endoplasmic reticulum so you should know the one line function of all these organelles so this was all about question number first so now let us discuss question number second h1n1 virus is sometimes mentioned in the news with reference to which one of the following diseases option number a aids b bird flu c dengue d swine flu so you can pause this video and write your answer in the comment section below so the answer of this question is option number d swine flu so h1n1 flu is also known as swine flu the cause of swine flu is an influenza a virus type designated as h1n1 so you should know all the types of virus like what are rna virus what are dna virus so what are the genetic makeup of the virus what is the structure of virus and what is h1n1 virus what is H- h1n5 virus so different kinds of viruses are in the news nowadays so covid-19 is also a virus so it is virus like i mean shape like corona so you should know all about virus which are in the news nowadays so this is extremely important topics nowadays i mean virus other microorganisms like bacteria fungi fungi protozoa so you should read more about from basic standard sources like ncerts so now let us discuss question number 3 biodiversity forms the basis for human existence in the following ways first 
soil formation second prevention of soil erosion third recycling of waste fourth pollination of crops so select the correct answer using the code given below option number a 1 2 and 3 only b 2 3 and 4 only c 1 and 4 only d 1 2 3 and 4 so you can pause this video and write your answer in the comment section below so the answer of this question is option number d 1 2 3 and 4 so biological diversity helps in the formation and maintenance of soil structure and the retention of moisture and nutrient levels biodiversity supports ecosystem services including air quality climate water purification pollination and prevention of erosion so you should know the basic functions of biodiversity ecosystem so in next year upsc can ask question on functions of ecosystems so upsc can give three or four options and you have to tell the correct answer like this question can be framed by upsc so this was all about question number three and now let us discuss question number four consider the following statements first asiatic lion naturally found in india only second double humped camel is naturally found in india only third one horned rhinoceros is naturally found in india only so which one of the statement given above is or are correct option number a one only b two only c one and three only d one two and three so you can pause this video and write your answer in the comment section below so the answer of this question is option number a one only so two humped camel are called bactrian camel found in central asia's cold deserts so b and d are removed javan rhinoceros is called lesser one horned rhinoceros and found only on the set island of java in indonesia and indian rhinoceros is called greater one horned rhinoceros so that means second statement is false so we are left with answer a that is one only so this was the question that was asked from biodiversity so you should know the endemic species which are found in india only or in particular part of the india like western Ghats or maybe andaman and nicobar island so you should know about all this kind of stuff about biodiversity so this was all about question number fourth now let us discuss the final question of this video with reference to india's desert national park which of the statements are correct first it is spread over two districts second there is no human habitation inside the park third it is one of the natural habitats of the great indian bustard so select the correct answer using the code given below option number a one and two only b two and three only c one and three only d one two and three so you can pause this video and write your answer in the comment section below so the correct answer of this question is option number c one and three only so normally human activities are not allowed in national parks but many villagers lived inside desert national park and they did not have access to even basic facilities like road electricity and water and in 2017 supreme court ordered the government to provide such facilities to them so option number second is wrong by elimination the answer is c and desert national park is spread in two districts of rajasthan that is jaisalmer and barmar so option number first is correct and it is natural home to the great indian bustard so statement number third is also right so this was the question that was asked by upsc in 2020 prelims examination so this question can also be solved from common sense like uh, you have to check statement number second it is written that there is no human habitation inside the park so it is highly unlikely that there would be no human habitation inside the park so you can eliminate option number second by elimination you are left with option number 
आई मीन स्टेटमेंट नंबर वन एंड थ्री सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट टूडेज वीडियो सो यू कैन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन थैंक यू वेरी मच